Hello guys, in this video tutorial, you will learn how to add AIP page into your app. IAP stands for in-app purchase, which is generally used for selling digital goods. You can create a catalog for selling photos, audios, videos, ebooks, or magazines. Let's see how it is done. Start creating your app. Under design section, click on view all and search IAP. Click on IAP page to add it into your app. If you want, you can change page name. If you want, you can change IAP page icon or image from here. There are three options available. First is free, that is you can list your items for free. Second is PayPal, you can select this payment mode. If you want to sell your items for a fixed price and want to accept payment in your PayPal account. Third is in-app purchase. You can select this payment mode if you want to sell your items for a fixed price and want to accept payment through Google and Apple. If you want to sell your items within a package, then you can either select in-app purchase or PayPal. But if you select free, then you can't create a package. Just for your information, you can only create a single package in one IAP page. For creating multiple packages, you need to add multiple IAP page into your app. For now, I will start with free option. The rest of options methods will be further covered in this tutorial. Just to inform you, we show a dummy item by default under item list. You can update its content like name and summary as per your needs. This is the edition field. If your item is based on monthly edition like magazines, then you can select month and year for it. But if your item is not related to any edition like albums, then you can reset it. Next, upload item image. Now let's add your item files. There are two options, full version and sample version. Full version files mandatory to add, which will be available to your app users once they purchase or subscribe this item. Whereas sample version files not mandatory. That is, if you want to show a sample of item to your app users, then you can add it. Sample is available to your app users for free. There are two options to add file and sample and full version. Either you can upload it from computer or add it through URL. If you want to add items through URL, then first you need to select file type. Enter title. Just for your information, this title is used to save your file in your app's hosting area. You can find your hosting area under my apps. Just to inform you, an additional field cover image will be added if you select file type audio. This image will show as a cover image on music player. Repeat the same steps if you want to upload sample files. Click on add new item to add more items. You can add multiple items only after filling all the credentials or previous item. There's an additional option make future item. This option allows you to set any item as future. It means you make any item as future then it will start showing at the top. At a time only one item can be set as future. Suppose if you want to sell your item for a price and receive its payment in your PayPal account then select PayPal payment method. Just to inform you once you switch your payment method you need to complete extra mandatory fields given below to configure this payment method. Here I am filling those fields which are available under this payment method. Enter your PayPal ID. Under items you need to provide each item price and select its currency. Suppose you want to show package option to your users then click on enable package. Enter package name. You can select any one payment type out of recurring payment and one time payment. If you want your users to pay one time only when he she access your IAP page content then click on one time payment. Enter package price and select currency. Write a summary. Upload package cover image. 
If you want users to pay you monthly or annually for accessing your package, then click on Recurrent Payment. Enter price and select currency for monthly and or yearly subscription. Just for your information, you can either enable both monthly and yearly subscription on your package or simply enable one of the subscriptions as per your needs. If you want to add previous items, then click on Include Previous Items. Suppose you want to sell magazines based on their editions, and some users have subscribed to your magazine in the middle of the year, then select Include Previous Items to make previous edition available to the users. Next, write a summary. Upload package cover image. Suppose if you want to get payment through Google or Apple, then click on In-App Purchase. Just to inform you, if you switch your payment method, you need to complete extra mandatory fields given below to configure this payment method. Let's see what extra mandatory fields are needed to be filled in this section. For Android users, provide public key and for iOS users, provide share secret key. Follow steps from respective tooltip to generate public and share secret key. Now let's come to the item section. For both Android and iOS, click on the tooltip to know how to generate item ID for respective platforms. It doesn't matter whether you provide one-time ID or recurring ID in item ID field. The billing period of the item will only depend on the item ID type which you have created on Google and Apple app stores for monthly, yearly, or one-time payment method. Let's see what extra mandatory fields need to be completed for enabling package through in-app purchase. If you want app users to pay one-time only when he she accesses your package, then select one-time payment. For Android and iOS, provide package ID. Follow steps from respective tooltips to generate package ID. If you want users to pay you monthly or annually for accessing your package, then click on recurrent payment. You can enter monthly subscription package ID if you want to receive payment on a monthly basis and or you can enter yearly subscription package ID if you want to receive payment annually from Android as well as iOS. Just for your information, you can either enable both monthly and yearly subscription on your package or simply enable one of the subscriptions as per your needs. Follow steps from respective tooltips to generate monthly subscription package ID or yearly subscription package ID. Next comes language settings. In this section, you will find all the default texts already being displayed on your app. If you updated any language settings text from here, it will immediately start reflecting in your app. If you want, you can customize your IAP page from page, style, and color scheme section. Just to inform you, if you have enabled package in PayPal or in-app purchase payment methods, you will get three layouts. However, if you don't enable package in any of the payment methods, you will get four layouts for changing the look and feel of your IAP page. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.